Enda is on its way. ExxonMobil could be in trouble in Illinois. And Ernst & Young might have an image problem. When we up in the club, all eyes on us. Illinois will investigate Texas-based ExxonMobil on claims of LGBT discrimination. Freedom to Work says that ExxonMobil would not hire a woman because she's a lesbian. It wants ExxonMobil to change its policies and prohibit LGBT discrimination. So the likelihood is that Exxon is not going to be willing to do that, and therefore um, it very well may proceed to a lawsuit. There's a chance legislation could end that ExxonMobil case before it even gets started. Today, a Senate committee advanced the Employment Non-Discrimination Act. ENDA would make it illegal for companies to discriminate based on sexual orientation or gender identity. Well, I mean, people can't believe that you can still be fired from your job for being gay. I mean, yet you can get married. Now, it still needs to be voted on by the full Senate, and then it goes to the House. All eyes on us. Ernst & Young just went through a major rebranding. Now it's going by the sleeker, EY it says it wants to modernize how it represents itself to companies around the world. But it might not have been planning to represent itself like this or this. See, if you search online for EY, you're going to end up finding some pretty risque pictures of young gay men. EY Magazine is a limited edition publication out of Spain. It hasn't been published since 2011, but it's getting a lot of attention now.